Do you guys think Phantom Nightmare has the potential of being among the greatest core sets, like Age of Overlord? I don't know, man. I mean, there's some really decent cards in this set, and right now, the prices, I feel, are a little low on some of the secret rares, some of the ultra rares, especially the goblins. The goblins are pretty cheap, but, uh, yeah, Voiceless Voice, what's topping in the OCG? There's some ultra rare Voiceless Voice cards, uh, I guess a lower rarity, you know, not secret rare cards in the Voiceless Voice archetype that are pretty cheap, so we'll see if it matches Age of Overlord in hype. But it's definitely going to be better, I feel, than the next core set, which is uh, Legacy of Destruction, I believe. That set, I don't know, there's not much hype be behind it. The the new the new cards that Yugi got are not that great from what I can tell. No one's making a really good deck out of it, but we'll see. Anyways, Xyz Force. We're going to see if we can do something great with these blisters. Usually blisters, I feel, you have a little bit more... Um, variability, you know, you have higher highs and lower lows than boxes. Boxes, you are guaranteed to get ultra rares and secret rares unless they screw up your box, but it's, um, you're not guaranteed to get the, the best ultra rares, right? Or the best secret rares. And we got one of the best ultra rares right here, Snake Eyes Poplar. So this is the most expensive ultra rare. Currently it's sitting about $50. So Hell yeah, man. Pop Lar. That is what I'm talking about. That's why what this set, I feel, is pretty decent because, I mean, you're, you're, a lot of these sets, a lot of these main sets, you put a pull an ultra rare, chances are it's not going to be expensive, even if it's good. But that card, currently, just because it is doing really well with the Fire Kings and all that stuff, is really expensive. We got Hero of the Ashen City. This card actually looks badass. But I heard... Wait, Ashen. Now, yeah, this is the new TCG exclusive archetype. I heard it sucks, though. So, it is what it is. They make badass archetypes, and then the Konami team balancing it just makes it terrible. Jeez, imagine that. You worked your like tireless nights, and then no one's using your damn archetype. It is what it is. Magispector Wind... Hell yeah, Berserk. Berserk Archfiend. Yeah. Going Berserk. Wait, hang on. That's Arch actually Archfiend support? Ooh. Berserk Archfiend, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to read it, but... So, the Archfiends haven't gotten, like, decent support in a while. Which is interesting. Because that... I mean, Summon Skull is technically an Archfiend. Um, Alright, what do we got here? Walls of the Imperial Tomb. This is four... For Horus, Horus is, I mean, in my opinion, Horus is a pretty decent deck, but it's also, like, it doesn't really do much on its own. It's, you do have to use it with, with, um, other decks, right? It's an engine, I guess, if you will, but I think it's a really good archetype nonetheless. Ooh, we got the Black Goat, the Black Goat Laughs. Secret Rare, this is about $8, so that's a pretty decent pull. Let's see, declare one monster card name. This turn, neither player can special summon monsters with that original name except from the graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Then declare one monster card name. This turn, neither player can activate the, the effects of monsters on the field with the original name. Ooh, actually, that's not bad. I mean, it's not bad. I feel, though, this is going to make um, Labyrinth, because it's a normal trap, a normie trap. It's going to make Labyrinth a lot more difficult, a lot more um, toxic, if you will, because it's, again, it's a normal trap. Um, I don't know, man. Well, would, would they play? They have so many good normal traps to play with, so I don't know if that is within the repertoire that they would use. But uh, I'll take it, man. $8 ain't bad. And, ooh, ultra rare, back-to-back. I don't think this card is expensive, though. Um, I don't remember it, so I don't think it is. Uh, Draco Ryu. I'll take it, I guess. Would have been nice to pull, you know, the other really expensive ultra rare, but we can't have it. We can't, we can't choose what we pull. Hopefully, though, we pull a quarter century rare on that note. Hopefully, we do pull it. <laughs> Dark Guardian. We got Boom Boom Mock, Ascend City, Mature Chronicle, and 
Raise Rink Up Magic. The Rink Up Magic cards. They, they're they interesting for, for sure because their names are getting really long. I feel like every Xyz archetype is getting a Rink Up Magic. So, yeah, those names are bound to get real long real quick there. We got Ashend, King of the Ashend City. Yeah, these don't look like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They don't, they don't, they just don't look, the, the, uh, artwork actually is pretty badass. I will, I will say that, but, again, people are saying that it sucks, so, uh, I'm gonna defer to their opinion, because I haven't read it, and I really don't want to read it right now, so, Master of Ham, let's go ham on these, going ham, what is, voiceless voice, these voiceless voice, I don't know if these super rares will ever be expensive, uh, but Voiceless Voice is a pretty decent archetype, to say the least. Again, I, I, I don't know. I think maybe Low is the only card. I mean, it's definitely the only card right now doing anything. And it's just because it's generic. It's not necessarily because the archetype is good. It's just a generic um, ritual support. Tears of the After Root. Loot. Root? Loot? Toot? All right, three more blisters. We need a quarter century rare, though. Can we do it? They're elusive. They're hard to find. We'll see. Three-eyed ghost. We got a sun sunset beat. I think this is a new, a world premiere card. Um, I believe it is. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes, but I um also do remember that a lot of the world premiere cards this time around the TCG exclusives. Minus the Ascend archetype are pretty decent, so um, maybe I should read it, but uh, I kind of like the flow we're going here. What is this? The Biker Mean Merciless. Is this a chick? There's always there's, there's always a chick. Always a chick in the new archetypes. All right, last pack. Come on, quarter century bear. We can do this. We got this. All right, Master of Ham. Going ham. Going ham mode. Going ham. Damn, it is not. Magic Spectre, something or other. Man, these blisters were not that great, admittedly. But, I mean, we still got Snake Eye Poplar. That's pretty decent, so can't complain too much. We did, oh, actually, and the goat. This is such a weird name. The Black Goat Laughs. I I don't even see a goat. That's the thing. It's like uh, jewelry, it looks like, on the artwork. But uh, maybe it's uh, something I'm... That's going over my head right now. I don't know. It's, it's decent. You know, I think those in and of itself kind of paid for the blisters. But we only pulled two suit, two ultras and one secret rare. So, pull rates weren't that great this time around. But you are gambling with blisters. Catch you guys in the next one.